Hi everybody, this is Lisa with Lisa Howard Fitness and I am the team leader for Team Warrior Stars and I wanted to answer real quick if you were someone who had asked me uh, what you can expect in one of my challenge groups. I wanted to uh, make a video real quick so that I can um, answer your questions for you. So in my challenge groups I uh, would think that for most of you when you're first starting out you're not really sure what it is or how you can um, be able to uh, you know get the interaction that you need from a coach over uh, the internet through an online service and I want to say that uh, nowadays the technology that we have not only are we able to uh, do video with each other and able to stay connected over the phone, uh, video chats, um, uh, texting. I talk to people um, in person as well. And uh, I don't think that any of the challenge groups that I have been in so far ha have I ever felt left out or that I didn't get the interaction that I needed. Um, in fact, it was, I think, many times much more convenient than it was. Um, you know meeting with somebody in person because sometimes my schedule is so hectic or I have kids you know maybe the kids are going crazy or there's uh, errands or chores that need to be done that kind of not necessarily prevent you or make it impossible for you to to uh, live a healthy lifestyle but definitely make it harder for you to stay focused on your goals and so being able to do the remote location coaching uh, is a is a really helpful thing for a lot of people so um, I wanted to make sure I got that issue out of the way that if you were wondering that oh it's just online I'm not going to be able to get the support that I need um, I want to say that the majority of people who get into a challenge group and who get into one of my challenge groups are able to get a lot of support and a lot of uh, camaraderie you one of the first things that we do as soon as we jump into a group is I try to encourage you all to get to know each other to share a little bit about yourself and what you uh, what your goals are and what your expectations are for the program that you're doing and um, many times I will try to run a group where people are at a similar fit fitness level and sometimes I'll run a group where I like to have the group be a little bit more diverse so that people can have more opinions and and um, you know maybe more advice to offer each other in the group so uh, a lot of camaraderie and a lot of support for one uh, Team Beachbody really emphasizes that our challenge groups uh, that they are based on four different things and that is uh, fitness, nutrition, support, and accountability. So um, we're really in those groups trying to talk about you know some of the basic principles of, of fitness that a lot of us kind of forget you know are you getting enough sleep are you drinking enough water are you eating enough are you not eating enough um, you know what is protein what what is a carbohydrate um, can I afford to eat healthy uh, there's lots of different questions that everybody has and you're not alone in your health and fitness journey and so I try to as much as possible make it a learning environment not just for you but also for me as well and I really grow a lot from every single group that I do so um, so fitness and then also nutrition so like I said the you know going over some of the basics of nutrition um, some of the different talking about different diets different dietary approaches that you can take uh, different you know obviously people are at different levels of fitness you might need different nutrition tips and different nutrition information so I try to make it uh, you know a good variety of information and help people to um, you know hopefully be able to step away from the group with a, a bigger knowledge base about nutrition than when you started so that's my goal for every group that I that I run is that you you 
you know, you have a big takeaway that everybody has a big takeaway from the group as far as nutrition goes because that's something that I'm really nerdy about and I am not afraid to, um, you know, to share that with you. Um, let's see, also, so the support, like I said, uh, being able to share questions and struggles and triumphs with each other is really, really important. I challenge people to post pictures of their workout. Um, I sometimes try to offer prizes for and do little contests in the group to keep each other um, motivated and help to hold each other accountable. So that's the fourth thing is the accountability and uh, sometimes I will encourage people to take a video of them doing their workout. So it's not just you checking in and, and saying, oh, I did my workout today. It's I want to see you know, what were you doing? I want to see it. And uh, you go ahead and show that, share it with us so that, and we all do it and that way, you know, you don't feel alone. And I prefer to keep my challenge groups to less than 10 challengers right now because I think that helps me to provide that more one-on-one -on -one, um, contact uh, with you and help make sure that I don't get, um, you know, have the group too big to where I can't provide the attention that you that you need. So those are some things that you can expect from a challenge group with me. And I hope that I answered that question for you. And feel free to find me on Facebook if you're not already on there with me. You can find me under Lisa Howard. And you can also email me at coachlisa3112 at gmail.com. Or you can send me a text or give me a phone call, 208-704-6497. Thanks. Bye.